Hey there, it's Big Game James McCarty, the sports director at Flag Family Media, and we're here at Shanley right now with head coach Troy Madden of the football program. How are you doing today, coach? We're good. Thanks for coming out. We're excited to, uh, you know, we're already into day three, um, actually day four. So, yeah, we're excited. Um, kids are working hard. Nice warm day today, so we'll see if we can get through it. Hey, and how great is it to have football back? It's hot today, like you said. It's it's going to be grueling for the guys in the evening practice, but uh, how great is it to have them have the pads back on and be just, you know, playing football again? Yeah, it's good. You know, we anticipate this all season long. You know, we, we put the pads away in November, and as coaches, we build for this day. We build for fall camp, and all the kids worked extremely hard this off season. You know, we sat down as a group after that, you know, losing the semis to Cheyenne. What do we need to do to get over the hump? And, and it, these kids bought in. They got bigger, faster, stronger in the weight room. Um, yeah, they're just excited to get out after it and uh, obviously get ready for that first game in a, in a couple weeks. But, uh, you know, I'm excited where we're at. We got good energy. We got good leadership. We got good focus. So hopefully that'll continue through today. And, and in regards to, to making it to the state semifinals last year for you guys, you ended up falling to Cheyenne in that one. How does that work for you as a coaching staff? Do you go into that using that as fuel for this upcoming season, or do you completely scrap it and say, hey, you know what, we got new guys coming into the program, buying into it with some of those seniors leaving last year? No, I think if you look at, you know, one of the reasons when we moved up, you had to create a new standard, you know, when you come to the big school football, and, and Cheyenne was that standard. So we have to figure out as a program, what can we do to get to that standard? And we're, and we're right there, you know, we're competing with them. Last year, Cheyenne team was a very good football team, and we battled, you know, we got it into the second half, we got into the fourth quarter, tied uh, we had two excellent really we, every game has been excellent with them the last three years so so we d we still measure them as the standard and we got to find a way to get better and uh, I, I think our kids understand now that they can compete at that level we have a lot of kids back that have a lot of experience that took a lot of reps in that game so they understand what it takes to get over that hump and hopefully you know this season we can take it to the next level and, and in regards to that you said you know bringing some guys back but it's high school football there's turnover every year how the heck do you replace the production of guys like John Gores and Aiden Devine, a couple of a thousand yard rusher, a thousand yard receiver, and they did everything right on that football field? You know what? I'm taking recommendations. So if you have any, let me know. But those are two dynamic kids. Those are kids that don't come around your program every year. But I think where you start is at quarterback. You know, Michael Rosberg's back. Anytime we've had a kid that goes from his junior year to his senior year, you know, it's just, it's just, you just see so much growth. And we expect that from Michael. And probably any coach that you talk to across the state, where would you want to start? It's on the offensive and defensive lines. And that's where we feel comfortable having four of our five starters on back on the offensive line and three of our four on the defensive line. So I think if there's anything anywhere that a coach wants, it's in the trenches, and we're happy to have those guys back. It's always great, like you said, when you can return those guys. How much confidence and trust do you have in that quarterback, Michael Rossbrook, the new St. Thomas commit? Um, how has he dealt with that commitment so far? And then also, I mean, how much confidence do you have in him leading the squad this season? You know, I think the biggest thing, he just wanted to get out of the way before the season so he could focus on the season, focus on his teammates, focus, focus on getting better. And he's done that. But like I said, the transformation, you know, we've had a lot of quarterbacks over the past decade. They've been two-year starters. What we've seen from their junior to the senior year has just been remarkable. We expect nothing different from Michael. We talked a lot through the offseason. We went through the, the playbook. We went through film. So he's starting to understand quarterback a lot more than he did last year with coverages, with movements, with pressures. So, you know, I think the game's going to be a lot slower for him this year. So we, we expect him to lead this team. The last thing I have for you, is there a young man or two that you, you've seen throughout summer workouts, throughout the early stages of practice that you've seen and you go, you know what, he didn't make a big impact last year. Maybe he didn't have the opportunity, but this year he's going to take the EDC in the entire state of North Dakota by storm. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a good point, and we you know we th we think we got a lot of kids. I think you got to start with uh, possibly the Leininger twins. You know, Jordan probably won. Jordan got hurt uh, eight eight. I think it was eight minutes into our season, so last year, so he missed the whole season. So we're excited to have him back for the season. Uh, Joey Dukart, we're gonna play him a lot more on offense. He played defensively for last year, but he's a dynamic. Um, in the backfield, it's gonna look, look a lot different with Isaac Perkarovich, who missed a lot last year with with injury. Adam Leininger, Jack Haldis. So I think uh, probably what I'm most excited about is just their athleticism. So um, you know, hopefully we can use that to our advantage. Perfect. Awesome. Hey, Coach, thanks for a few minutes of your time today. Good luck to the Deacons, and uh, we'll be on the field covering a couple of games in a couple of weeks. All right. We appreciate the coverage, and it's excited to have high school football back. Definitely is. Hey, I'm big game James McCarty. Have a great rest of your day.